Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's time to finish off the water club. Hopefully, because remember remember I've got a mostly fire deck going on here. I have the Rattatas and Radicates as long as Kangaskhan to be sort of neutral uh, for these sorts of situations. But, you know, with luck of the draw and whatnot, this could be ugly for me. <laughs> Aren't you, Mark? So you decided you want to duel me. Yes, I would love to duel you now. Okay, it's a one-match duel with six prizes. Let's do it! The Go Go Rain Dance deck! Yep, she plays the deck that I want to make. So this could very well be not very pretty for me. <laughs> she could utterly demolish me left and right if she gets the cards that she needs. Luckily, her Rain Dance deck isn't as powerful as it could be, but it's still a Rain Dance deck, so watch out for quick energy powering up with a Blastoise if she gets it out. As a matter of fact, I will probably save a Gust of Wind, that one Gust of Wind that I still have in my deck, to uh, wipe out Squirtles if at all possible, but uh, let's cross that bridge if we come to it and play this game very very carefully. Oh god, energy removal. Yeah, she's got that too. She's probably one of the toughest duels in the game, actually. Uh, providing that, you know, she gets her deck up and running here. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. See how things go. Um, I am... Now, of course, energy removal that. And... I don't think... Well... Eh... Eh... eh. Maybe I should do this. This is what I'll do. I'll computer search, discarding that and that. Fire energy card and RK9 for eradicate. Get that neutral thing going here. There we go. And then Professor Rogue. This is kind of a wild guess because she can do massive amounts of damage uh, with her Blastoise. So it's just me hoping to get the right cards here. And that's a pretty good hand off of Professor Rogue. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And, of course, she's going to Water Gun, because she's always got Water Energy, it feels like. <laughs> it's just how her deck goes. Uh, ooh, Pokemon Trader. Well, that's something I could use later on. Uh, but for now, let's Energy Removal that, Power Up, Hitmonchan, and Jab. Woo! And now... She's still going for that Lapras, huh? Oh, Professor Oak, she's gonna get a lot more water energy. And possibly the Squirtle that'll start the chain of death for me. Oh no! Hey, there it is! That little turtle brings great fear in the hearts of Pokemon TCG players. Because as long as it's safe on the bench, it is the start of your eventual demise, unless you take care of it. <laughs> because. She can dish out 60 damage, turn after turn. Uh, maybe I'll keep the energy cards for other Pokemon. Just do that, and... Yeah, jab. Just keep stalling her out, I guess, by removing her energy. Oh no! It's coming, isn't it? She's okay, we're good. <laughs> so scared. So, so scared. Pop that on there, and finish off Lapis. Okay, so I guess things are looking alright. She's probably not going to put out Squirtle. She did put out Squirtle, interesting. I figured she wouldn't put out Squirtle because... Oh, she's got another one, okay. I was going to say because uh, she usually likes to keep them off on the sidelines until she gets Blastoise. I mean, come on, it's called the Go-Go Rain Dance deck. She wants to get out Blastoise. I'm still not going to attach more than what Hitmonchan's already got, because I am pleased with how the turns will turn out. Alright, powering up Horsey! We shall see what goes on. I really hope she doesn't get Blastoise, because I probably won't stand a chance then. So even if she, so if she doesn't get Blastoise, I'm not doing a rematch just because she doesn't get Blastoise. I don't trust myself enough that I'd be able to win that consistently. <laughs> Still can attack, so... Done with the turn. Oh, I, I should say I can't attack this turn, excuse me. 
And if she gets paralyzed, oh, can't attack with Hitmonchan, it's too bad. Well, I got other attackers in the wings, so it's not that big of a deal. Eh, so we'll get them set up. Sound good? Good. Machop. And, 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 and. I'm thinking of Pokemon Tradering. Guess I just made up a word there. <laughs> I'm going to trade and eradicate for Charmeleon if it exists in my deck. And it does. Uh, even though it's a fire Pokemon, it's still going to do some decent amounts of damage to her Pokemon in the future. So that will be something worth pulling out, even though it's got the water weakness. Plus it's got EDHP, so it'll be able to survive a, a few water attacks. And she gets her first prize card. Uh, I suppose it was good of her to use, I mean it was a good idea of her to use uh, Squirtle's bubble in the end there, because she did actually get the advantage over Hitmonchan of all Pokémon. <laughs> so yeah. Alright, so Raticate is going up next. And... I wonder if I should... Super Energy Removal... That... Squirtle. Because she's probably powering that one up to turn it into a Blastoise. We can't have that now, can we? <laughs> okay, bite that Squirtle, and grab a prize card. Trading blows. This has been a pretty good game so far. Uh, she tends to get seeking out a lot, which could prove to be an issue for my water. Po I mean, <laughs> prove to be an issue for my fire Pokemon because of its water element. Uh, we'll see. I traded in Arcanine, so I know it's in the deck. So I might be able to get a um, Arcanine should I uh, gust of wind. I mean, I mean, if I Professor Oak, excuse me. Uh, I don't know if I'll Gust of Wind, though. I think I'll just do Professor Oak here, and uh, maybe switch to something that can knock out Horsey outright. Um, or maybe I should have Gust of Winded out the Squirtle, you know, just to prevent any unnecessary Blastoise. Well, it's too late now. Yeah. Well, let's hope the smoke screen doesn't work. Oh, yeah! Didn't work. Yeah, Smoke Screen is the same attack that uh, Magmar's got, so it has potential for stalling, that's for sure. Just like Bubble. Or something that paralyzes, like a Thundershock. <laughs> probably want that Magmar out on the bench. And I also probably want to get an Arcanine later on. And I also most certainly want to knock out that horsey, which I was unable to do, which is sad. <laughs> but that's okay. She may be stalling, but that horsey is going down by the fangs of my Redicates. Yup, 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 yup. Yup, 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 yup. Come on, come on, come on, yes! For the win! Well, for the turn. <laughs> Probably gonna put on another Squirtle. Yeah, I took a wild guess at that, because she's got a lot of Squirtle. I believe she's got four copies of Squirtle, actually. Ooh, energy removal! That's pretty disruptive. Because I had that double colorless energy, so it was like she got two turns up on me there. Uh, I'm not going to be using Super Fang anyway, so I think I'll be okay with uh, just pulling off bites here and there. I'm tempted, though, to switch to Charmeleon just to wipe out that sucker. Which I just might do, so I'll do that. Go with my instincts, and uh, I won't use an energy card, instead I'll use a plus power and combine it with a slash to do exactly 40 damage. Very nice. And there we go. Alright, alright, we've got Lapras going here. Uh, I think she ran out of energy cards. She hasn't been really powering up her Pokémon anymore with energy. See that? Interesting. So if I were to energy removal... Kind of cheaply, knowing that, I will be able to successfully evade her moves. Well, to an extent, because she will probably use a water energy. Oh no, she doesn't have any water energy, really. So she is not going to be able to do any more damage to my Charmeleon. This pleases me greatly. Get that on Machop, and just do a Slash. No Flamethrower this time, because then I'll have to discard a Fire Energy card. Okay, Goldeen's up next, and it's her last... It's her last resort. And this duel went surprisingly smooth. She didn't get out her Ace Blastoise, 
that I was fearing greatly. Um, I was able to virtually sweep the game once I got all Charmeleon. And I'd like to see what I get out of this. Arcanine, maybe? No. Oh well, let's just finish this off. That is a duel. <laughs> Oh, that took a while, too. I didn't realize it took that long. Yep, you lost! Well, since I lost, you can have this water medal. This should give you a step closer to inheriting the legendary cards. Oh, so you're guessing that I'm going to inherit the cards. You really have faith in me, don't you? A lot of other people don't have faith in me in this game. <laughs> yeah, you can also have these. They should come in handy. Laboratory booster cacks. <clears throat> Rare Game Boy version of Pidgeot. I hope I get another Lapras along the road. Lapras is a nice Pokemon for water decks. Um, ooh, Magmar. Another copy. Never can have too many of those Magmars, am I right? <laughs> like, even, even if you get over 16 of them, you know, for the total amount of decks that you can build and max them out four per deck, um, you can still trade extra Magmars to people and help them out. You know, if they don't happen to have that many Magmars, come see me again. I'd like to duel you again sometime. Maybe later. That was a pretty stressful game. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here, even though it's kind of short, because I'll be going over to the Fighting Club, which has the toughest members. So I best uh, take my lucky break here and uh, run with it in the next part. <laughs> So I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I get over to the Fighting Club members, which are scattered all around the lands. But don't forget where they are. They hope you wrote it down, because I'm not telling you anymore where they are. Just, yeah, check your notes. Check your notes. <laughs>